What's up, everybody? So the talk is on. Uh, and it's live if you're on the on the West Coast. If you're on the East Coast, you probably have seen it already. Um, I'm wearing my fish shirt. Austin thinks that's a fish. There is Amanda. And there's Akbar. How's everybody doing? Yes, if you have CBS or Paramount Plus, turn it on. Because I'm about to walk out here. Uh, any moment. Any moment. Let's see here. Oh, wait. I got a text message. Hang This There's Cheryl Underwood. If you have... Uh, yes, yes, Carrie. If you have CBS, turn it on because they're, they've dedicated this whole show uh, to uh, our movie, Fit for Christmas, which is... Oh, Glenn's wife's watching Christmas movie right now. Go to CBS. You can watch the talk. Uh, there, There's Amanda, my co-star, and they're going to be doing... Uh, they're focusing on our movie, this whole uh, episode. Oh, you watched it earlier, Titina and a Val V. Wolf fan. Richard Rice, cool. All right, everyone, I just wanted to tell you. Oh, Paula's watching. I don't know how you watch it in Canada. Did you guys get CBS in Canada? Uh, who, what do we got? Who do, who's, who do we got? What do we got? Everybody's getting into the, the Christmas season. Oh, Sandra, you're watching now. You're watching a Christmas movie, Fire Lily. I'm good, Nadine. How are you? Oh, here comes Santa. That looks, there's Santa. Or is it Jerry O'Connell? Oh, Bettina, you watched and recorded it? I wish we could put that up on the website somehow. It was, it's cool. I haven't seen it yet. This will be my first time. Um, just a reminder, also, Christmas is not canceled. You guys can get uh, some toys uh, there so we can reach our goal over there. Check out Jen Lily. Oh, oh. Oh, there's a snowflake. Snowflake. A snowflake. Aloha, Hawaii. SoCal, we're just getting it. Right. Yeah, yeah, me too. I'm watching. I'm streaming on something I've never heard of. I don't know what it is. Uh, I can't even remember what it is. It's like fluffy or puffy or something. Feels like uh, Oprah. Kisses to Italy. Back at you, Louisa. Thank you so much. Hello, uh, Wilma. I love table tennis. Oliver and I play table tennis all the time. Lucita, thank you. Oh, and now we're on a commercial break. So tell me, uh, do you guys have any questions about Fit for Christmas? I can answer that during this commercial break. Um, <clears throat> it's my Christmas movie that's coming out here shortly now. It's coming out um, on Sunday. Uh, and the CBS dedicated the talk... CBS dedicated the talk uh, to it. And I was supposed to see Jerry O'Connell, but he wasn't there. I was bummed. I was super bummed. It's coming on Christmas. They're cutting down trees and pulling up reindeers and singing songs of joy and peace. Oh, I wish I had a river. I could sail away oh, I'm not sure, Nadine. Here yet stays pretty green. I'm gonna make a lot of money. I'm gonna quit this crazy scene. Oh, I wish I had a river. I could skate. Oh, 
What's that? What? Oh, that's a song that's uh, one of my, uh, fun to play on the piano. Okay, I think it's on. Nope. So if you're not watching the talk yet, um, I'm just going to use my underwear here and go wipe off my camera. Yeah, I mean, there's a pile of clean laundry here, so it's... Hey, you're welcome. Sorry. Is it back on? It doesn't show like it's on here yet. How come? Let's see. It's still on a commercial here. Uh, but it, oh, maybe it's on, and it's on. Good morning. Yeah, here we go. You guys watching this? Yes, after your fifth rant, I switched up my order. Good. I need sugar and caffeine. I was up all night. Then why do you look so upbeat? I figured it this out. guy Daryl's a real comedian. How we save the rec center? Um, I was up the town years at Second City Technically, in Canada. Technically, we only need eighty thousand dollars to keep this place open for another year. That buys us time to find a more permanent solution. Yay! You guys, watching this? Soon, I think so. I'm live on my Instagram. At the same time. Just people that can't quite see it. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The audience watched this thing live. Okay, Liz, so tell us what did you think about the movie? You guys were one of the very first to see this movie. Yes, I thought it was amazing. I admire Amanda's talent. I think yeah. she's a beautiful woman, and I think she did an excellent job, and I wish her all the best. It's pretty cool. Hey, they screened it for the audience. Can you guys see that? Let's get to you. What's your name? Jack. Jack, so um, this is an amazing movie, as she just said. Uh, Amanda's co-star, Paul Green, is also here. So what did you think of their chemistry? Ah. I loved it. I mean, actually, it feels like it was like old natural. Like, they were not even, act like, acting. It was really, really good. Yeah. Uh, yes. <laughs> I like that. Amanda, you got some fans over here. So the audience got to screen it uh, beforehand. Thank you guys so much. That was so sweet of you. That means the world to me. Like, you know, this is my I'm first show. Yeah. I really, really appreciate that. How about that graphic behind there? They, CBS did a good job. Um, I just want to know where the outtakes are. I know. We, we, have, all this we have some good outtakes. We have some good ones, especially Paul and I. We could not keep each other from not laughing. So there were definitely good, good outtakes. Okay. Well, we're going to ask him when he comes out as well. Up next, it's the stars of Pepper Christmas. Paul Green. I'm the one and only. Yeah. 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 There was like a, that was like confusing. They had this thing. I thought I was I actually started to run out and they're like, no, no, this isn't the part where you run out yet. Okay, quick, quick Q&A. Does anybody have a question? Let me oh, put a question in the thing, in the question box. Uh, about, if you have any, about this uh, movie. Is he, is he plowing the pomegranates? He's <laughs> Uh, Lu Louisa, hopefully we have good news for you. Did a, did a live yesterday and said you were great to work with. You made her first movie easier. Yeah, Firefly, yep. Oh, you're a subscriber. Thanks, Firefly, for being a subscriber. You're a member. Thank you. Thanks, Super8292. It's super rainy today. We're going to go get a tree, but it's like very, very uh, rainy out. What was different about this movie than any other other ones? Well, this is based on like a true concept, which is Amanda's Fitness Company, uh, written by Anna, and and it's the what made it different. It's the first movie like this that that uh, Amanda has done. So I've never worked with somebody who had never done a movie before, which was really cool. Um, 
The name of the movie is called Fit for Christmas. And it's also my first movie for CBS. I've done CSI and then CIS for them, but never a movie. Um, was it different filming this versus homework? Not really, Nina. Like, I mean, CBS is different. Um, but, you know, Brad Carvoy produced it, who produced a lot of my homework stuff. Even One Calls a Heart, he produces. So it was similar to Hallmark movies, but different in a way just because CBS was connected to it. And then the post and, you know, the promotion, like billboards and stuff and the talk, like things are different uh, with CBS, I'd say. They're national. I mean, Hallmark's national too, but uh, they're network and Hallmark's cable. So that, that's a difference for sure. At Rio Mariposa, love your, your voice and acting. What's your favorite movie of all time? Of all time? Oh, man. It's my, do I have a favorite movie of all time? I don't know. All time. All time. Princess Bride, I might have to say. Um, I know that's pretty childy, but maybe Princess Bride. I love Love Actually, if we're talking Christmas. Um, I love The Rounders a lot. I did miss Jerry Tracy. Muhammad, how are you now? Oh, there's a question in the question box. What made different than any of the other ones? Yeah, mostly because it's a real story. Was I nervous to talk on the talk? Great question, Bettina. Yes, actually, right? Like standing there and when they're about to call my name, I was like, it was a bit, it was a little bit nerve wracking. I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you. Um, I said that to Amanda, I was like, do you get nervous? Like there's a moment when you like, right before you run out. Um, I guess knowing that it's national was something and that it's, uh, it's a little bit of a different experience, you know? Yeah. Oh, here we go. I think we're back on. Are we back on? We're still on the commercials. Uh, hello, Blue Eyes. Uh, Van de Sheesh. I'm glad. Yeah, you're going to... This name, it's a comedy. It's very, very funny. I think you guys are going to super dig it. Super dig it you are. Okay, I think... I think it's coming. Not quite. What's this one? Is this fire? What's this do? These are always fun. Whoa. I should, I should do a, that light my fire song with that. Okay. All right. Whoa. That's trippy. Okay. It's coming. It's coming. So we're watching uh, the talk right now. It's coming on. I think. I'm streaming it because I don't have a uh, network. Here we go. I think. On Sunday night, our first guest will welcome us to the quaint and festive town of Mistletoe, Montana, in the new CBS original movie, Fit for Christmas. Yeah. But the town's future is about to change when a Christmas obsessed fitness instructor bumps into a charming and mysterious business charming. developer. Take a look. Overpriced artificial holly. Careful, this is mistletoe, not to be messed with. Overly passionate about Christmas decor, noted. Uh, <clears throat> you know, I'm yep. sorry I bumped into you, but uh, a little advice. Mm -hmm. This town is called mistletoe for a reason. Mm -hmm. We're a Christmas oasis. Mm -hmm. If you don't like the holiday, I'd hit the road. Whoa, whoa, hit the road? Does Santa know that you talk like that? I never told you I didn't like the holidays. In fact, I love it. I, I applaud the commercial genius that is Christmas. The best parts of Christmas are priceless. Yeah, why does that sound familiar? It's a commercial. I have to go. I'm far away from you. <laughs> Please welcome Lisa Aubrey and Welcome, here we come. Oh, that's 
okay. That's okay. Um, we wanted to set the mood oh, here with a little holiday cheer. We've got some candy cane martinis. Yeah. Oh, oh, Paul, oh, your yeah. character's a little bah humbug about yeah. the holiday. Oh, that's yeah. true. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. why in the world does he end up in mistletoe, Montana? Well, because <clears throat> uh, there's an incredibly gorgeous woman that lives there. No, he doesn't really know that quite yet. Hold on a second. Yeah. Very good. It's sweet. That's good. Yeah, it's good. Yes. Ooh. Yeah. That's like Christmas in a cup. Yeah. I come there to take over. Uh, well, actually, that saved the town, really, <laughs> save the town. <laughs> right. From itself, it's in financial ruin. It needs some, uh, an interjection of money and charm. And, uh, but little do I know that Where's I'm about to destroy God? the thing that she loves the most. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Until you meet so, uh, fitness instructor Amanda, who then sets you on the right course. But, Amanda, your character has left New York, mm. also left her beau back in New York and her relationship, but why does she come back to Mistletoe? Well, she comes back to Mistletoe because, you know, that's her home and her dad Who's is that? there, and that's where she, um, you know, feels, you know, most comfort right now. It's the holiday season, uh, she's broken up with her boyfriend, yeah. and uh, her business is, you know, failing, Here? and so she just feels really lost at the, at the moment. And, What's better than, you know, going home when you feel lost? That's right. That's yeah. true. Yeah. So, gotta yeah. keep yourself rooted. Oh, you have seen the holiday movies, I mean, with almost a dozen Christmas films yes. wow. under your belt. What sets this one apart from the others? Well, um, <clears throat> this woman. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Truly, no, no, truly, truly, her acting is so spontaneous. You all saw her, right? Mm -hmm. And it's, it's such a gift. It's true, she was awesome. To, uh, to be with somebody who's in the moment and to act mm -hmm. off of one another and listen okay. and play. And because she doesn't have tricks, like, it was mm -hmm. all fresh to her. And that made it so special. And then, of course, Anna wrote it. Yeah. And Anna... Yeah. Oh, no. And... Anna uh, found me when she was in the 10th grade in an L.L. Bean catalog. Funny story. Really? Yeah, it's a really terrific story. And then uh, last year she wrote a Christmas movie I did. So we have a 30-year relationship here. <laughs> and so there's so many really cool... The fact that it's on CBS made it really yeah. unique and so special. And, and the tradition, the history, the long history of this network. And, you know, there was... Wow. There's endless magic in this movie. Yeah. So, yes. Yeah. But Amanda, we followed your journey uh, from uh, bringing this from behind the scenes and this story to life. And, but, uh, but what I really want to know is why did you want to make this film? You know, this idea came to me at a very uh, special time. It was July of 2020. Um, Nick had passed away only a couple weeks before. It was in the middle of the night. I couldn't sleep. Um, Elvis was in my arms because we were sleeping together at the time and we both woke up, it was like 3 o'clock in the morning and um, I turned on Christmas movies because they were playing Christmas movies in July back in the height of COVID to make people yeah. happy yeah. and feel yes. good yeah. at a time where we were all feeling really bad yeah. mm -hmm. and I'm laying there and I'm thinking about these movies and how this is helping me so much right now and I thought, you know, they've never had a movie about a fitness instructor. Like, why? Yeah. I've yeah. seen a lot of these movies. That's true. And there's never been a movie about a fitness instructor. Yeah. And guess what you do when you have an idea that hasn't been done? You do it. You do it. Yes. Yeah. I love that. And this... This movie has a number of scenes uh, in the dance studio. Paul, I mean, did I had to put you to work because it looked intense. <laughs> yeah, the, I didn't have to act at all. Like, <laughs> in that scene, because my character is supposed to not be very good at these dance aerobics. Yeah, and yeah. It, 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 that, that tracked. That was, it was, uh, <laughs> it was uh, so I, that was you really off beat? <laughs> I mean. Oh. Okay, I'm going to I'm asking you. Okay, okay. I have slightly better rhythm than that. Okay, 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 okay. okay. I was, my first interim was a drummer, so I have some sense of rhythm. But dancing, like, to aerobics, to Christmas music, in, in, like, to, nah, not so much. Yeah. <laughs> like, da like, dancing, at, like, we were talking about dancing with the stars. <laughs> dancing with the stars would be, like, my biggest fear. 
and biggest challenge, I think, for sure. Was that real sweat, though? <laughs> but see, I was going to ask him, the scene where you and the guy are trying to... Uh, it was a mixture. It was so hot. Really? Where we were shooting, because we were upstairs, and it's, you know, summertime. Every Christmas movie is shot in the heat yeah. uh, of a freak yeah. summer heat wave. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh it's like... Oh, what they don't yeah. tell you. Yeah. 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 yeah, so that's the most acting you have to do, is acting cold. Mm -hmm. So whenever I go outside, I sort of do a little, like, whoo. <laughs> 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 You'll see it. How's everyone doing? I'm going to say goodbye. I just wanted to tease that with you. If you have CBS, I'm sure you're probably watching it. Uh, our movie comes out December 4th. Uh, and I just appreciate you all. And please set your recording devices or tune in live on Paramount Plus and on CBS on December 4th and we'll see you guys there thank you so much alright also go to paulgreen.com all the goodies are there too bye